already. Cool, 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 cool. Hello, me peoples. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, let's see. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Sorry. Um. Huh, let's see. Hey, people. How y'all's doing? Where y'all people's at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Trying to get on here, give y'all a couple of tips, have a little fun, get up off of here, throw some meat on the grill. <sighs> Trying to see where everybody at. Come on, people, where y'all at? Hello. You want some what? Alkia nearly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this video started. One moment. So sorry. Okay. Hi everyone, I am here today. I wanted to start a little transitioning thing, like help, like just helping people try transition to start eating healthy. So I'm gonna introduce myself. Most of you all know me and a lot of you all don't, but uh, I'm a mother of six. I have one beautiful granddaughter and a little bit of background well my family we've been on this health health conscious journey for a little bit over six years now i call it a health conscious journey for the simple fact that um we we can't always afford the healthy stuff a lot of people can't always afford the healthy stuff you know they jack the prices up and all of this stuff and we only get what we get but we try to make conscious decisions when we shop uh for substitutes uh for supplements things like that so yeah so we do what we can so i decided to incorporate more nutritious meals and snacks in our uh, diet uh to to lessen the sugar me and my um husband we get sick a lot a lot of mucus and i notice as you get older mucus build up mucus 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 so we had to um figure out a way to cut down on the mucus so basically what we did we um we cut out a lot of the sugars we cut out a lot of the gluten things of that sort so that's that after eliminating after eliminating some dairy we um we noticed a huge difference in experience less mucus like i said left in our body so i felt the need um to uh, share this information with my my best friend. Um, my best friend from since childhood, Rashika, she has a lot of ailments and she battles uh, a lot, she battles a lot of ailments. So I wanted to get this out there to help her, not to get anyone off their uh, their doctor schedule. Like if you're going on a doctor schedule, you follow your doctor schedule, but you can do this on the side of it. So that's enough of a little bit about me. Um, I didn't, I really didn't want to stop at the food. And so I figure I'll um, I figure I'll go practice some plant based meals. Um, I figure like why stop at the food? Why not do the skin, hair, the cleaning, the cleaning stuff? You know things of that sort. Uh, me being the creative that I am, I decided to make my family their very own head to uh, head to toe body wash. I call it head to toe because you could actually wash your hair um, with this body wash as well. Um, I use products such as food, natural products already in the fridge having teens it was a must to come up with with some natural stuff so and plus um i have a, a three-year-old granddaughter who i want to um get get into this natural non-toxic lifestyle so enough about me we're gonna get down to business so the first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna clean up our cosmetics 
ladies, 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 we love our cosmetics, cosmetics, cosmetics and hair products. We love our skin products. So we want to start removing products from um, from our medicine cabinet, from our dresser, things of that sort. So anything you have, lotions, uh, makeup, body wash, hair moisturizer, shampoos, conditioners, lip gloss, um, nail polish. I don't have any nails, but no shame in my game. Um, nail polish. Um, anything you could think of, just about anything you uh, use. Um, facial cleaners, um, stuff like that. But what you want to do when you start changing the products in your household, you want to go through everything. And yeah, some things you're gonna you have to you have to start reading the labels. And a lot of people don't like reading the labels. They don't have time for that. They seen a commercial. The commercial told them everything they need to know, um, or it works better for her hair or her skin. So I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Yada yada yada. Disregard the ingredients in it. That's because it didn't happen to you. You're gonna keep using it. So we all we all we all have this think pattern that, but hell, if it didn't happen to me, why should I stop? So if that's the kind of mind frame you want to keep fine, you can't, you can't change everybody's mind about what they have to get to it. They said, but so I'm just going to give you a, maybe three ingredients to look for when you're purchasing your products is more out there. I actually had a list of them, um, but I'll get back to that later, but I'm just going to share with you about three ingredients that you want to look for in all of your products. One of them being triclosan. Triclosan acts as a uh, anti -mic antimicrobial agent, and the concerns that most people have for this tri tri triclosan, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, it, the, some of the concerns um, are disruptive thyroid, reproductive home hormones, bacteria resistant, uh, well, bacteria development. I'm sorry, and some of the products that this uh, pres uh, that this uh, antimicrobial antimicrobial <laughs> is found in is um oral products mouthwash toothpaste shaving products for men creams uh color co color cosmetics things of that sort uh, another one is parabens i'm sure you heard of that one um that one is more like a pre preservative para para parabens p-a-r-a-b-e-n-s parabens it's a preservative and one of the concerns for that preservative is it's a hormone disruptor. Disruptor, yes. And it's found in your makeup, it's found in your moisturizers, it's found in shampoos, conditioners, lotions, face. Put it like this, it's found in anything that's in your medicine cabinet. We're gonna put it like that. Uh, and, and it's found in some facial scrubs as well. Uh, another one is, uh, uh, I can't even pronounce it, Thy Ooh, DB, DBP, Thylets. Thylets is a, uh, it's a fragrance ingredient. It, it, it enhances the uh, ingredients. It's a solvent, uh, plasticizer, plasticizer. Y'all got to excuse me, we're trying to pronounce these words, but this is the, this is the purpose of giving this. If you can't pronounce, if you can't spell without even looking, if you can't pronounce the words in in the products that you're using, no need to be using them. Don't use them. If you can't pronounce them, if you don't know the meaning, can't spell them, you know, no need to use them. So um, one of the concerns with the thylets uh, is it, dam it, it can damage the male reproductive system. Um, it's found in nail polish, hairsprays, perfumes, uh soaps um all kind of stuff so another one just to be uh on the uh just just to name a few is contaminants contaminants uh such as heavy metals like lead and nickel they also are listed on some of your product labels but no I'm, i take that back they may not be listed on your labels but the ingredients that create these contaminants are in these uh, products is what I'm saying. So be careful when you're using products that contain a lot of contaminants like metal and lead and nickel and things of those sorts. So you probably thinking right about now, hmm, sounds refreshing. 
what do I have to lose? Or it sounds good, but it could be expensive. You know, anytime we go natural or organic, it's a little bit more expensive. It don't fit my pocket. Well, leave one of them Gucci purses with them with, at the store, you know, leave them rims at the shop and start investing in your health, you know? So just, just invest in your health. You just eliminate a lot of products and you don't have to clean your whole cabinet out. You want to start with the basics of the things that you're using. That way you can slowly and gradually get everything the way, you know, get everything, all the natural and non-toxic um, products that you want in there. So um, after cleaning out all your pro uh, supplies and replacing all your non-toxic make uh, makeup, uh, your skin hygiene, cleaning products, those, those, are those, those of that sort, eventually you want to strive. Keyword, strive. We have some words. Try hard, attempt, aim, aspire, all motivational. So we want to strive to um, get out get out the products that we use. We want to get it as natural and as close to non-toxic um, as possible. So um, unless you, uh, when you get, like I said, when you get, or you can make your own. I make a lot of my own products. Um, I love going on there being creative. I make a lot of my products. Uh, like I said, I've made, uh toothpaste shampoo body wash um body powder i'm looking at my um i have a table full of uh, ingredients that i can show you all real quick just to give you an idea of you already have your beauty products in your medicine cabinet or um in the, on the dresser with your oils and things like that so i'm gonna show you this so with this this is well we all know corn stuff so with the cornstarch you can make baby powder and you can put your own fragrance with it the only thing you have to add to this um i forgot the name of it but it's a clay it's a clay powder and you mix it with this along with other ingredients and you um you can use any essential oil that you would like to use with it. Mix it up, put it in a jar. If you use essential oils in any of your products, make sure it's, it's stored in a cool place and in dark containers so that the sunlight won't break down everything. So baby powder, get rid of that baby powder. I'm, so, I'm sure y'all seeing those infomercials about um, the talc. We see it every day. We watch the infomercials. More inf infomercials, I talk fast, so I'm trying to slow down. Um, So we, you listen to the information about the talc. So we're gonna leave it, uh, get the talc out. Cornstarch with some clay. I'll get that clay, the name of the clay for you guys, uh, along, like I said, with some essential oil for smell, whatever scent you like. Uh, you know, we have witch, ha witch hazel for toners, uh, lemon, lemon juice for toners as well. Honey, moisturizer. You can put this in your shampoo. I make this in my body wash. I make this in my shampoo. And I also add the tea tree oil to go with it. So you have a lot of options. You just have to want to do it and stop being lazy and going out just grabbing something because you don't have time to check it out. You don't have time to research. We got kids growing up. We, we teaching them right from wrong, but yet we're still uh, doing what we know is wrong. When you know better, you do better. So with that being said, moisturizers. Coconut oil, hair, body, lips, anything. I put it in my body wash as well. Uh, baking soda, cleaning products, shampoo, toothpaste. I actually use, I don't have it. I actually give everybody like a little plastic jar uh, with like a teaspoon of baking soda. Uh, sometimes I will use coconut oil. Um, and sometimes, because I don't want that oily taste in my mouth, I, you just use a little either way it go, but I will use lemon juice. Lemon juice helps to brighten stained teeth as well. So you have baking soda and you have lemon juice to mix with this or baking soda and coconut oil. Um, and you can add like a peppermint flavor essential oil. Actually, you can add it to make your own wash just with a cup of water and add a couple of drops of essential oil. 
um, another gargle. If you don't want to deal with the harsh gargles or harsh products, we all know what this is. Gargle with some peroxide. Uh, you, or you could dip your toothbrush in it, put a little bit on it. You don't want to do it every day because peroxide will tear your mouth up. Too much of anything is not good for you. I don't care if it's natural, organic, or whatever. Too much of anything is not good for you. So I'm going to put that out there. So, yeah, and then you have, like I said, you have a lot of oils. You have uh, sweet almond oil. All of these you can use to make your own products. If you don't feel like making your own products, fine. But at least take the time out and read the back of the labels of some of your products because you're complaining about my breakouts. You're complaining about how, how dry your hair is. You're complaining about how dry and cracked your skin is. You're complaining about just being sick, period. Well, we feed ourselves, well, not this, but we feed ourselves these chemicals. Yeah, they may make us look good, make, make us smell good, make, may I, make our hair look good or whatever the case may be, but it's killing us slowly, point blank. So by the time you get 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, your body has broken down so much on the inside. You probably don't know it. You probably feel it, but just don't know to the extent. So yeah, we want to we want to be mindful of how we take care of our bodies on the inside. I want to feel better than I look on the outside. If you don't like how I look on the outside, kudos to you because I feel great on the inside, and that's what matters. People gonna say what they have to say, but I'm worried about my inside. And when you take care of the inside, it shows on the outside just as much and quicker than it would well be if you was to cover it up with makeup or whatever you know so with that being said guys that is my tip for today cleaning out of all your products you want to clean out all your products go through your shampoos and everything and like i said i'll be doing some videos later on on different kind of products that i make and i'll be glad to share them with you i also have a list um well, you get the idea as far as the kind of products you need to take all, out of your cabinet. Also, um, as far as um, labels, you know, you have the recognizable label, which is the uh, all ingredients. I'm going to give you an example. It just has soft, just pure honey. You just want you just want ingredients that you can read. You know what I'm saying? You don't want some stuff that you got to spell and try to pronounce and yet you eating it and tripping over your tongue while you eating these long words and stuff so <laughs> so yes um buy you some bottles make y'all some stuff for it will last if you make it in batches it will last you know what i'm saying i mean take a couple of hundred dollars and go rack up y'all i'm just saying it will it will save your lives when we hit pandemics like this you know, our immune system. It also plays a part in what we put in our bodies and on our bodies, the stuff we use. Like you can't use certain products and go out in the sun. Or you can't use certain products and, and go out in certain weather conditions or, you know what I'm saying? Like who does that? Who wants to live like that? I want to live natural and free. I want to feel good. I want to grow old until wrinkle don't wrinkle no more. <laughs> I want to grow old with my granddaughter. You know, I want to be able to run around and play with my baby. I want to be one of them grandmamas like, hey, sugar, don't put that over there. My grandmama will get you later. Just no, I want to be able to run around. My father is in his 60s and he still runs around with my kids. I don't know how because he don't take care of himself at all. But our kid, don't you tell him I told him that. But uh, I just thank God he's still able to do it. So um, but we can change our lives. We want to get our households in order clean. We don't want to just uh, spring clean we want to do some deep cleaning everybody walking around here with this sage and everything trying to clean their house how about you clean your house with some natural products instead of the chemicals and all that other stuff and start fresh you know you got your natural it's only on smell goods and everything so i'm gonna end it right there guys um i will be back tomorrow same time day two and we're gonna be working on some food yay yay so uh yeah we're gonna go through the foods to eat, the kind of meats to buy, things like that, yada, 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 yada. Some old good old stuff. So I will uh, try to get these um, lists posted maybe after the, after this. Um, it's just a list of products that you want to remove. It could just give you an idea that you can just check off and go through. I also have um, a, like a list of 
um, preservatives and other chemicals to look out for. So like you might want to take a screenshot of it and take it to the store. So when you're looking for something, um, just pull it up. Because so I know I've been to the store plenty of times and like, oh my God, damn, what was that? Oh. So if you take a snapshot of this, you just bam, put it up, look at your stuff, compare it. Oh, mm -mm, nope, can't get this. Keep it on moving. So yeah. Um, so tune in tomorrow. Same time, ladies and gents, people, chop, chop, chop. Um, we want to you know better, you do better. We want to raise our kids to be like this. We don't want them to be going through another pandemic not knowing how to take care of themselves. Yes, we can go get some over-the-counter uh, medicine. And speaking of that, how would it feel like if you sick, real, real sick, and go to the store like what just happened, can't get any over-the-counter even though you don't need it anyway, you have medicine in your kitchen cabinet. But we'll talk about the food tomorrow. Y'all almost made me go into it, but we're going to talk about this food tomorrow. Yes, yes, good stuff. So I'm going to end this and... I thank you guys for uh, coming on here with me. So um, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Um, if you have any questions, you can inbox me, drop your comments below, whatever, whatever. But just to do a recap real quick, we, we eliminate all products that contain triclosan, parabens, thiolates, and contaminants. All of these product, all of these uh, preservatives are in all of your products, and they do uh, have side effects. Put it like that. I was calling them concerns. They are concerns. Hormone disruptors, things like that. Male reproductive system damages. Male reproductive system damages. We don't need none of that, ladies. No, got to get our guys tight. Got to get them right. We don't need that. But um, I'm about to cut it off right here, y'all. Peace. You got a hundred views. I want to get off yet.